Stop scrolling. What I'm about to tell you could change your life. Are you a beauty student or an entrepreneur in the beauty industry? I'd like to share with you some tips that people wish they knew early on in their career. The first one is business skills. A lot of people don't know how to market, they don't know how to financial plan, and they don't know much about client retention. Another important thing people wish they knew early on is networking. It's never too early to network. People in your class, people in your industry, uh, people in your community, and w even when you're in the store. Three, picking a specialization early on will benefit you greatly. If you have a skill that you can hone and you can tell people that you're good at something, you're going to be better able to market yourself. Pick a technique, a way that you like to do things, um, and get micro certifications. Micro certifications are great because that gives you a little extra in an industry and will get you hired over somebody else because now you have more valuable skills. Four, continuing education. There is always going to be something to learn. There's always going to be new trends. There's going to be new celebrities. Somebody said the other day, I want Sabrina Carpenter hair. And I had no idea who this person is, so I had to look it up. So if I know what the trends are before they're trending, then I can help people keep up with what they want. So if I start taking um, samples of hair and cutting it in a way to the most recent celebrity trend, then I have something to show people before they come in and even have to ask me. Products change. It's important to know about different products out there. For a while, short spiky hair and ramen noodles was very popular. There might not be a lot of wax pastes out there if it's not trending. They're not on the market. But then when the style trends, now all those products are going to sell out because everybody wants to get the spiking wax. So it's important to know what's trending and make sure you have all your products and foresee what kind of tools you'll need. Five, this is the most important one, self-care. It is so important to have boundaries with people. People will walk all over you. You need to prioritize your well-being. If a conversation is taking your energy, you can find a polite way to tell people, I, I don't want to talk about this. You can change the subject. It's not being rude. You're protecting yourself. And you need to find a healthy work-life balance. People will call you at all hours of the day, they'll ask you to drop everything, they'll hustle you down. So you need to make sure that you're setting a fair price and that you're respecting yourself. You need to respect yourself by having boundaries and taking care of yourself because if you're burnt out, you're not going to be able to care for someone else and then you're going to let them down. So I hope these are all great tips for all of you who are starting out and Give me a like and follow my channel if you want to see more of this content.